Three hells, everyone doing? Quite a hope. Yeah, I hope everyone's having a nice day. It's a, it's a nice day right now. Nice and sunny and all. Having a beer. So, hope it's all doing well. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so I want to talk about the Atari VCS, the intelligent Amico, and fanboys, you know. Right. Wait, I'm a, I'm a die hard fan of Atari. I've been all my life. And I will be till the day I'm dead. I'm a, I'm a die hard Atari fan. People call me fearless for being so. Some people give me support. But that's the way I am. That's how I look at things. If, if, you, if you truly, truly love something, you stick with it. No matter what. And that's what I have with Atari, you know. So I know what it's like. Even though it may seem fearless. It's just a, a company, it's just a, a, a game's console, but to me, it means more than that. It's my childhood, you know. I grew up with the Atari 2600. I played it with my friends, my family. It's something that we all enjoyed together. It gave us something to do, you know, rather than... It, it was a break from reality for us all. It was, it was good enjoyment and good fun. In the home, you know, in what... Well, there was none of this online stuff. So, you know what? That that was like, because I grew up during them times, and I miss it. But times change, unfortunately. But it's not all bad. You know, online, playing games online and this, it's different, and it's good in its own ways. But in my opinion, it will never replace what I had as a kid back in the 80s and stuff, growing up with the Atari 2600 and then the NES, you know? Playing with my mum and dad and my brothers and cousins and stuff like that. So, but them days are, are, are gone, unfortunately. Now, you can still have that sort of stuff if you want, why not? I mean, the, the games and consoles still exist, but on the whole, like, it's just shifted, it, it, it shifted away to online play with the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 and that. Now, we have an Xbox Series X, and we like playing games online. We call it Duty and Battlefield. I'm just saying that it's different, you know? And that's the way gaming is catered to now. Online gaming, the Xbox Series X, PlayStation 4. Now, the intelligence of me goes, the reason why like, I like it, and the reason why, if it ever did come out, we'd get one, is because back in the day, in, te in television... And Atari were two rivals, you know. And uh, in television, you know, we're awesome with that. You know, if 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 Atari never existed, we would probably have an in television. But we live in Northern, and back then, all we had was Atari. The in television, as far as I know, ne never came out over here in Northern, you know. So the Atari 2600, the uh, Sinclair ZX Spectrum, yeah, especially over here. Were the, were the two most thing but you can get the Sinclair ZX Spectrum was the Sinclair ZX Spectrum for the AK, which is way cheaper than the Atari Twenty Six Hundred, or the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Then later on, the Commodore Sixty Four started coming out, and the Amiga Five Hundred and stuff. But in the very early days, the only thing that we could get our hands on in order was the ZX Spectrum or the, the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. We never saw it on television anywhere, not in Ireland anyway, not in Dublin. But if Atari never existed, I probably would have picked up on television at some point. But look over the years, like, it was just very hard for me to get in, in the television and I just lost interest. But that doesn't mean I don't like it, you know. I just never got a chance to play it and it was just always out of my reach, the, the television. It was just, I just, I just, couldn't, I just couldn't come across one, you know put it that way but if we if we did or get one the old television you know now in television amigo it's trying to bring that out that in the home family experience back you know and that's why i like it but at the same time you have to you have to cater, cater to the other crowd as well and, and television isn't doing that with the amigo that's all it seems it just seems to be solely focused on the family friendly games and apps and stuff like that. Yeah, so it's not offering anything that the Xbox Series X can do 
on the PlayStation 4. Now, the Atari VCS, I mean, it's a PC. It, some people call it an underpowered PC and all the priced, but with, with, with the Atari VCS, you can play X Xbox Cloud Gaming, you can do Stadia and, and Video GeForce Now. So, you have access to modern games that the other consoles can play. Um, plus, whatever Atari themselves being on the, on the Atari VCS store. So what is underpowered who can still play all these games? Particularly um emulation to Chrome on the on the Atari VCS with that who can play Mega Drive games, Super Nintendo games, N64 games. So it has all that. Uh, uh, to me that adds to the value of the Atari VCS and it's it's a part of Atari once again, you know. So the Atari VCS you can you can do a lot more with it than you can with the Amigo. But the Amico has been delayed a bunch of times and it just seems to me like it's, it's never going to come out, you know. Well, I hope it does, but I don't, I don't think it will. Like, so, like, we've, we've, we've been following the, the Amico story and it's just delay after delay, excuse after excuse. And there's no shipping date, there's no manufacturing date. Um, now, they say that at the end of this year, people that PR the, either a Galaxy Purple and Miko or Wood Grand Miko, at the end of the year, shipping will begin. But manufacturing hasn't begun. We're in April right now. So they have to start building these things now and assure people that they will get their Miko. But they haven't done that. So until they do that, I'm just going to keep saying it's not going to come out. Uh, so Atari and the, and the Atari VCS, they showed people it being assembled in the plants, they showed it being put onto pallets, and they showed it being shipped, that's how, that's proof. Now, in television, they don't have to show us these things, but I think they should to reassure people that, yes, this thing is legit, it's actually happened. But here's the thing that's also concerning about the Amico. You can't pre-order it to GameStop anymore, I, I can't get it in any retail shop, the only way you can PR or it's true on television themselves to their website so that's concerning also you know with the Atari VCS they said you can get in GameStop, Walmart, Wico Center and now you can get on Amazon.com the American Amazon so so that's 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 also concerning as well and there's no update on the games for the Amigo what stage they're at if they're, if they're ever going to come out and them cards that have the game, them RFID cards, they, they say you scan them on the system, you download the game, but there's no information if that's up and running or not, if, if the cards work, if it's a star work, and they say at the end of this year they're going to start shipping. So I don't know, like, they had to show a lot of things before. Now here's another fishy thing, we, so if you want to, I think these are fishy, and it's just, it doesn't add up. In, in my opinion, you know, um, so they say that you can pre order the Galaxy Purple or the Wood Grand, but you don't have to put down any, any sort of deposit or anything like that, it's free reservation. So that's that's strange because a, a, anywhere else, if you're gonna um, pre order something, you have to put some sort of money down. So I don't know, uh, they, this just seems to me they, they're trying to show. Their manufacturers, their the, the people that gave the money. Look, we have all these PR. There's people actually want this thing, so produce as many consoles and we make money. That that's, that's what it seems like. But these people are gonna say, "Where's the manufacturing day? Where's the ship day?" Because in television, are the ones that have to buy the parts, get the thing built. So I don't know. Like, I don't know what. See, that's the thing. There's too many questions. And not enough answers. And the people that are, that are supposed to be answering the questions, like Phil Adam, the CEO, Tommy Tedarico, and um, John Averano, they're not saying anything. So, I don't know, we just have to wait and see, right? But if I was a fan of the Amigo, we'd be, we'd be praying to God just it comes out, you know? But is it going to? We just, we just don't think so. There's too many questions here, and it just seems a bit fishy. To me, anyway, but I could be wrong, like, but the like, and they keep using see, and keep using the pandemic as an excuse as for why nothing's happening. 
But all, all the corpies look a tarry avocade and all the corpies got their stuff out, so I don't know, you know. So we see we we'll wait and see what happens, but go going back to the whole die hard uh, fan thing, you know. Like uh, like if this was happening with the Atari VCS, we wouldn't give up either. So we'll say fair play to the fellas out there that are that are still backing the Amico. I hope it ha I hope it happens for you. I really do. Um so but you know you have to admit me it just this seems fishy. There's no confirmation of anything. You know, they're just saying things and it's just words until they actually show a ship they these things get them built. Remember we're in April right now and December isn't far away. They, so they should start building them now. You know, now I know people are, are trolling the hell out of them by PR and hundreds of amigos so they know that they can't even build I'm only guessing, right? But I think I'm intelligent just don't have the parts to build to build that many. I think they would have enough parts to build maybe five or ten amigos. That's at, at the most. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm only guessing. But one thing uh, uh, is positive that the like, people were saying that by by now or July. In television will be bankrupt, but there's uh, there's no more of them going bankrupt yet. They haven't said they're going bankrupt, so that's positive. That the fact that they're not bankrupt, because uh, people are saying that if they don't get the ten million dollars that they need to stay afloat, they'll be bankrupt. But they're not bankrupt yet. They haven't come out and said they're bankrupt anyway. So they're still around. They're still going. But where where is this television and me go thing going to end? I don't know. Like, you know, but we just think it seems to be fishy. You know. And we still, we just still think it won't come out yeah, in December. I just think it's impossible. Um, they, when they actually start building, they start building them now. Yeah, but if they don't, which it doesn't seem like they are, because they haven't told anybody. Look, like I said they don't have to tell us these things, but we think they should, because that's what Atari did. Because they realised that people were getting impatient and pissed off at all the delays, so Atari kept us in the loop because it's the right thing to do in my opinion so that's it so hope everyone has a good day and enjoy the weather what it is and enjoy oh, so take care everyone uh, all the best and bye bye